Have you ever wondered how games can do so many things at once? Computers are fast, blazingly fast, but even then, it's often not enough to just throw optimized code at it and assume it will run well. Multi-threading is how I do it. In my multi-threading short, I go over how it works, but for clarity, multi-threading is essentially offloading CPU tasks to a different thread to be computed and updated at a later time. With this in mind, I created a task manager system to queue thread tasks and operations and return their results to the main thread. Threads separate from the main CPU cannot do unsafe operations. This list is pretty long, but the main examples are adding objects to the world, any operation that pertains to a specific object, think visibility changes, positions, scales, etc., and most importantly, global variable changes. Since threads run asynchronously from the main thread, you cannot do operations on it that would modify or change the current main cycle. That is why when I create threads for my world generation, I utilize exclusive local variables. This means that each variable is unique and cannot be modified by other threads. I combine these systems to create a thread task that runs the expensive operation of generating world chunks, then I send that data back to the main thread to be finished. This allows the main thread to do other important tasks and reduces the overhead. In a gross oversimplification, that is how I can load and render nearly 1.2 million tiles away in my game.